Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the KNN classifier from the scikit-learn package in Python. Okay, so we're using a notebook and the problem we're going to be solving is classifying um, some wine, white wine, into different categories for quality. The input variables that are physically tested, their measurement uh, values, are things like fixed acidity, volatile acidity, citric acid, sugars, alcohol, pH, and so on. So those are our, our inputs. And the output is a quality score that is a value between 0 and 10. Okay, This is the origin, the, the source of the original files. I'm giving you the file with the training data uh, on web courses is a file called wine white train data and we're going to start is a csv file so we'll import the csv package um, we're going to just call the file file one we're going to create two lists one for the training inputs and one for the training or target classes or training outputs if we look at the file the csv file we can see that what we have is a row pair wine with 11 inputs those are the measured values and then there's a final value the last value on each row is the quality itself the target so it's a very common uh, circumstance to find uh, that the training data is together the contained in one file together the inputs and the output okay so what we're going to do is open the file we're using with open file as f, uh, and that means remember that it will, after we get out of this indented uh, code, it will close the file automatically so that we don't need to worry about memory resources. And we're gonna append into the training inputs list each row all the values from the first one, index 0, till the last one, but remember when you're slicing in Python it doesn't include the last value, so this is taking the 11, first 11 values, and then for the quality we're taking the very last value which is that number 12, the column 12. So that one quality matrix quality contains the quality of the that score, the quality score between 0 and 10. Now we're creating a new instance of the classifier, I'm calling it CLF, you can use any name for your classifier. Then we go into the neighbors package that we have imported from scikit-learn. Okay, remember this line here, we're importing neighbors from scikit-learn and metrics that we're going to use later. And then we're using the method k neighbors classifier with a specific number of neighbors. If we don't specify the number of neighbors, the default is 5. In this case, I'm specifying 13 over here. Um, then we're going to use the method fit for our instance of the classifier CLF with the training inputs and the training outputs. This is creating the model, fitting the points into the model. Now we want to know this new wine, what category each of these new wines uh, belongs to, what quality score should we, are we going to be predicting. Uh, in this case, the data comes in two separate files. Um, in a deployment situation, you would only have to test inputs. Uh, but now, in this case, we're going to want to know how good our predictive model, model is. So we have available to us the ground truths, the real categories that were given um, to those wines, so we can compare the two. We do as previously, we're going to take our test data and our truth, ground truth and open the file and append into this list for each of them. In this case, we don't need to slice any value because the data comes in two separate files. And once we have a list with our matrix test, our test inputs, we can use clf.predict with the test inputs and that will give us our predicted values for each of the values of the wines in the test uh, data set. This is stored in the variable results and we can use the CSV writer to write this into a file. Um, in this case into this file resultswhite.csv and then to check how good the model is we can use metrics.accuracy score we can compare the ground truth with the results predicted and in this case we get 45% with our 13 
neighbors. We can change that value and rerun and do we'll get different values. Um, when you're creating your model here, creating the k-neighbors classifier, um, there's other parameters that can be set. Uh, you can set the distance uh, measurement. Uh, remember the default is uh, Minkowski but it's um, equivalent to the Euclidean distance. But remember in the previous in video uh, for KNN I was using Manhattan distance just for clarity in the graph. Um, that you can use Mahalanobis or other measure distant measurements. Um, for us the main parameter we're going to be changing is the number of neighbors. For your exercise, I'm going to open that file now, this is the exercise that you have to submit. Um, this is the link for the original data. Again, I'm giving you the files uh, on web courses. So it's data about cars. So there are some input values um, for different uh, characteristics of cars. Uh, some come in text, some come in numbers. Um, and at the end, what we get is if the it's acceptable or unacceptable, the car. Um, we have uh, things like uh, space in the boot, number of doors. So on the file, let's go here to the original one. For example, um, we have these values for very high, high, medium, low, maintenance, number of doors. We have something called five or more. Um, safety, low, medium, high. So what I want you to do is import those files and do some pre-processing where you're converting the very high, high, medium and low inputs into 4, 3, 2, 1, then big, medium, small into 3, 2, 1. When you see 5 or more or more, I want you to convert that into a 6 and then high, medium and low convert that into 3 to 1 and acceptable and acceptable into 1 and 0. So basically we're going to be using integers for all our inputs and targets. Then we're going to be creating our classifier and um, fitting the points and then predicting the values for our test data. But we want to try different k values so we can use for example the for loop where we're iterating over different values of k and finding out which one will give us the best accuracy for this particular model and then we'll that's the, what I'm asking you in exercise for which value of k is providing the best solution and um, you can practice changing your different parameters different uh, using different performance measurements or using different uh, distance measurements as well I leave that up to you okay that's all